Thanks for watching this video on Accounts Class 11th. If you want to purchase the entire course, you can click the link in the description. Or if you're watching this on mobile, you can click this downward arrow link and you will get the link to purchase the entire course. In this video, you are going to understand about bank transactions. Okay. Let's take the first one. Suppose you deposit cash in a bank. Okay. So this is the first one. I can actually kind of just remove this line because that will give me more flexibility in terms of the space. Now when you deposit cash your balance of cash which you have in hand goes down. Cash as we know is an asset and the rule for the asset is the decrease in an asset is credited. So there is a decrease in the asset which is cash so cash has to be credited. Let's say the amount is 10,000 to cash account credit of 10,000 and when you deposit this cash into the bank the balance of bank will increase and bank balance is also an asset so an increase in the asset is what it has to be debited so you debit bank account by 10,000 the narration you can put in being cash deposited into the bank. Let's take the reverse. Withdraw cash 10,000. Okay, I'm just putting in deposit to differentiate this. Withdraw cash. Now, when you withdraw cash from the bank, your bank, there are two accounts which are affected cash and bank. The balance in the bank will go down and cash balance with the company will increase. Now both of these are assets so cash increases, cash is an asset, increase in asset is debited. So you make an entry cash account debit. How much? Again 10,000 and the bank balance goes down. Bank is an asset decrease in the asset is credited to bank 10,000 being cash withdrawn right third suppose you issue a check for payment let's say one is for purchases second is for what do you want to put in here any expenses let's say stationary let's take this amount as 5000 and the third is let's say for building Okay, just extending this. In such a case, when you make a payment, the balance in the bank goes down. So you have to credit the bank account whatever be the amount. Let's say in these three taken together is 15,500. All these three taken together. 
Now, building is an asset. When you expend the expenditure on the building, the value of the building goes up. So, increase in asset is debited. So, you debit building account by 10,000. Expenses, the debit on expenses is what? Expenses or losses, increase in expenses, debited, right? So purchases and stationery are expenses only, right? So increase in the expense has to be debited. So basically, what do I do here? I debit purchase account, 8,000. Purchase is what? It's an expense. And an increase in purchase will be debited. Stationery is again an expense, so it is debited. Being payment made, and then everything follows. The last situation for a bank could be that someone comes and deposits the money directly into the bank. So let's say X deposited check of rupees 5000 in bank now x can deposit this money only if he has to pay me once he deposit the money in the bank the balance of the bank will go up so i debit bank why bank is an asset increase in asset is debited and two so there's a liability which has now come up for me towards x to x now whether this is a liability or he owed me some payment because x owed me this money and he's put it in so i have kind of credited him so these are basically four kind of payments that can be made through the bank account thanks for watching this video on accounts class 11th if you want to purchase the entire course, you can click the link in the description or if you're watching this on mobile, you can click this downward arrow link and you will get the link to purchase the entire course.